Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your reading. Um, we are going to start with some tarot and then we will uh, pull a few oracles for you. So let's get this going. All right, asking your angels and your spirit guides to join us as these messages are for your most high Gemini. <clears throat> Sorry, my nose is stuffy today. Um, let's see. Whoops. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Whoops, and she is in reverse. That's actually good. No matter, even if those were switched, that's really good. Wow. Who Gemini. What the crap? Wow. All right. This is really, 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 really good. Wow. Okay, so the main issue is that there is this, um, energy of being undecided uh, on the bottom of the deck. So I think that that is probably pretty significant to your reading. Um, you have 555 in your reading. Um, and that deck's been shuffled a lot today. It's, it's strange because those numbers amplified are, well, it's a huge decision. You've already started to move forward on a decision from the past, we can safely say, uh, with that being represented by the Knight of Wands. So it's fast movement. It could be indicate travel or speed. There is a, a feeling of not wanting um, conflict or confrontation. And at the same time, like I said, these could have been switched. But just naturally, the way that I put it is because you're getting out of a challenge, if something was a challenging time, like you've probably started to feel some relief from that. Um, so that means relief in your worries, those worries being kind of, you know, cast to the side because everything's okay. At the heart of the matter, sure, we look back at disappointments and um, things that we regret, and that's represented by the three cups that I've spilled. But we have um, aces, two aces, right? Two ace of cups waiting for you if you just simply turn around. It's really like balancing the scales of your justice, because justice is in the spot that represents how you feel. So you're feeling really balanced. You're feeling like you have truth and clarity. Um, still, I say that there's this energy of really not wanting to fight. Um, the Four of Pentacles is in the environment, and the Ten of Cups is crowning you. So... The Ten of Cups is meaning that above all else, everybody's happiness is what really matters. And um, it's also having financial and spiritual abundance. So that's a really good card to get, the Ten of Cups. Um, it's like a completion in something here that makes you very happy. You will probably be accumulating more money and um, pulling it back to save. Also, putting investing, possibly, in your own personal growth and financial growth. We have, with the Four of Pentacles, it also represents the Four, which is stability and foundations. Um, the Page of Swords is in reverse, normally indicating a difficult conversation. So, maybe this is a not-so-difficult conversation to have. It could be something like that. Um, it could be undecided on what to say. Yeah, I'm deciding on what to say. That's, that's probably what it is. Um, the strength card is in reverse as the hope or fear. So it just has to do with that energy of feeling like, okay, let's be confident but not overconfident. Um, that's all that energy is talking about. The Seven of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune is a really good combination. This is about... Um, well, gathering your patience as you climb into a new cycle. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, it's the good luck. It's being on the wheel again, right? 
Yeah, and it, so it is a lot about the effort that you put in your um, own crops, too. We'll get some clarifying uh, cards. We'll use, let's use Surrealist Tarot. I like that tarot. <clears throat> Apologize that I'm like, probably not sounding the same either. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so for the Knight of Wands, tell us about that energy. What was moving fast from the past? Oh, fast from the past. It might have been a blast from the past because Six of Cups could be indicating somebody from your past. It indicates nostalgia for sure, right? Um, it can be soul connections. It can be um, finding your soulmate kind of energy. It's a really sweet energy, and it is one of reminiscing and kind of coming together, all helping one another. Um, so that's what is moving forward. What is the Five of Cups in reverse in the heart of the matter? It's the King of Wands energy as a challenge. So... This energy is like, okay, how do I continue building with what I have here? And so that that has to, it's Leo energy. Strength is also Leo energy. So it's about having the confidence to move forward. Yeah, it is about that. Tell us about um, the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I have the Nine of Swords, and again, you didn't get a five, but you have the card that represents change. So that's big change. Five, five, five. Nine of Swords. It's really big change. Um, and it may be hearing information too. Hmm. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here. So this could be self-initiated change. This could be like a carpe diem, like a seize the day change. Wow, you have the queen of swords twice too. Huh. Undecided, but focused on your own personal growth and development. Focused on increasing profits for sure because you already have the ten of cups. So it's more now about financial gains. And the decision is what you need to have the confidence in, possibly even more so than a conversation with someone else, you know, as that it might be representing you having confidence in your decision. <clears throat> yeah, see, because the Ace of Cups is the challenge. So what's waiting for you is a new loving adventure. Yeah, something that ends up paying back, you know, tenfold or whatever. Tell me about Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. So you're revisiting what did work from the past and taking out what didn't work from the past and moving forward. It's almost like changing your uh, your line of thinking or your, your thought process type stuff. <laughs> type stuff. Taking a leap of faith is probably a good idea because you do have that Wheel of Fortune energy, which is good luck and uh, good fortune, right timing. It's kind of like all of that. The Four of Swords being in reverse is just saying that you can expect some major healing to go on for your next 48 hour. Um, and yeah, and have confidence here. Why? Um, what would help the confidence? Ask your spirit guides and angels. What would help the confidence? The Five of Swords, not fighting, though. The way they came out is not fighting, not having um, major conflict here. That's that's what it's all about. And the Empress energy on the bottom, underlying issue, too. Wow. So, let's pull some other Oracle cards. Maybe that will help you. Um, we have Cryon Stuck. I should have this listed in the description. It is his Oracle Cards um, Affirmation deck and the uh, Gaia Rebuild deck. Okay. 
messages for Gemini's. Okay, we'll just take what came out. Um, 20 Gaia knows you. It says, by way of strong partnership with Gaia, you can create situations in which weather will seem to, quote, go around where you are. You see, Gaia knows who you are. And I have, I am loved. These are affirmations, too. That was from Gaia Reveal. And um, this affirmation says, I am loved, I am dearly loved, and surrounded by love. I mean something to others. I exist for a reason. My relationships are correct, appropriate part of God's plan. Thank you, Cryon. <laughs> All right. 17, um, I am independent says the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious and capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I am independent and I am tactful. 26, you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful number 26. And... And I have 10. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details. Then carry, tell others what to, it's like a manager or a boss energy. I am ingenious. <laughs> Number 10. 20, I'm harmonious is on the bottom of that deck. You relate to others in almost a, or at almost a cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kind. And you have the ability to persuade others to your view using gentle means. That was the angel numbers messages deck. Let's see. All right. Sacred Rebels or Messages for Gemini. Take these two. Sing True You, 29. 16, What You Want Wants You To. Sacred Rebels Oracle. What else you got? 42, the word wants to be written. The word wants to be written. So seeing the true you um, has a lot of heart opening with that couch. And it's about your reflection too. So seeing the true you, 29. 16, what you want wants you. It's about your spirals, your manifestation, your creations. The word wants to be written might have to do with if you have a book to write, if you're an author or you have a blog or something like that. Um, 13, the power of attraction, the power of attraction told you it can be a lucky number in some cultures. So I'm going to take the side that wants this to be the lucky number. <laughs> it'll work. It'll work. Uh, then I have... 21, Beyond the Mind, the Heart Beats. Beyond the Mind, the Heart Beats. Talking about uh, heart overhead. You know, using your heart, your compassion to guide you and whoever else you're with, I guess. 34, it says, in the world, but not of the world. In the world, not of the world. And on the bottom of the deck, that's pretty. Uh, 19, Dream a Beautiful Dream. Okay. And we have Fairy Dust Oracle. Learn a little nudge. It's now your turn. Put your thinking cap on. It's time to learn. Aura cleanse. When you feel heavy or run out of luck, go swim at the beach and you'll feel unstuck. Creative. Life is a canvas for you to use and paint all the colors of the happy moods. I like that. And I have 
gratitude. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in the sunlight. So that is what I have for you guys. On the bottom, I have rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away. Here, we'll, we'll do one more. Let's see. Yeah, let's do a guardian angel. We'll pull a guardian angel reading card. Okay. Angels, what closing message do you have for the sign? Gemini. Whoa. 19, Angel of Learning, you have 1919. That's good. They're repeating numbers. Angel of Learning, 19. And you have it next to the Learn card right here, too. That's cool. Also, I have 29, Angel of Solitude. That's about finding that place that's yours and just yours to um, take time to reflect on whatever it is that you have learned about uh, with that angel of learning. I have angel of procrastination 27 also relating to some music and six angel of comfort angels uh, providing you comfort or maybe the music is it could be something like that too. So that's what I've got for you sending you love and light. Thanks Gemini for joining me. You have a nice night. Bye bye.